Hi, this is Ben Masonheimer with Silver Seas Yachts, and today I'm going to walk you through a Tierra 39 Coupe. This is a 2016 model. It's the newest model in the Tierra lineup, and I think you'll agree it's a beautiful boat with all the quality you'd expect from a Tierra. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. All right, here we go. The Tierra 39 Coupe exterior styling is right in line with the 44 and 50 Coupe. If you saw all three of them together, you would know they were of the same brand and series of boats. Very nice teak deck. It's about, uh, let's say, three and a half feet. We have a garage hatch that opens here electronically, and you have tons of storage inside there. Barbecue here in this area. Cable master shore power cord over here. Very nice cockpit that will seat six people comfortably. You have high and low table legs that will make this table higher or lower. Oh, and up here we have the Make Fast Sunshade. Let me show you how that operates. Stainless steel. It's the one piece of canvas on the boat. It uses only one motor and a tensioning spring, so it's pretty impervious to wind or being filled up with water. It's just a great unit. It also has rods that can attach to it here and here to give it extra stability. I love these counterweighted doors. They're really great. They're a key feature of the coupe design. As we step inside, you'll see the beautiful teak flooring. Tons of seating. This, this uh, settee here, uh, before it gets to the L portion, that's probably almost about seven and a half feet long, so lots of seating there. We have our galley in this area, two burner stove, sink, two isotherm drawer refrigerators, uh, trash storage here, a nice convection oven microwave, and then your television is up in this area, and it will swing out to face your guests over here. They've got storage hidden everywhere in this boat, so you can see there, nice large storage area as a companion to your galley. Dual helm seat, beautifully stitched leather, and this helm seat, um, as it goes forward to come closer to the wheel, also goes up, so it will elevate you. This is a Garmin Volvo glass cockpit boat with IPS drives. This has the IPS 500 diesel engines, so you can control your screens from here. There's also an application you can use to control your screens. And you can dock with your joystick. You'll have full control of the boat while docking just with the joystick here. Then there's also the joystick driving mode, which allows you to put the boat into gear and then use this as a tiller and steer the boat. Here's your Garmin glass cockpit. It's a Garmin Volvo uh, collaboration. So you have all your engine data right in the screens. So there's no need for analog gauges. You can also control things like your stereo. I have that off, but you have a beautiful stereo system on here. Um, and then I have navigation on this side. Garmin VHF radio, spotlight, Linko auto trim tabs. Here's your ignitions down here in this area. Uh, beautiful view, beautiful view. Um, there's very little bow rise on this boat, and uh, so you never lose sight of the horizon. And it's just a joy to drive. Uh, it's a 41 mile an hour boat. It burdens 44 gallons an hour combined at top speed. Um, so very economical, uh, very fast, and very fun to drive at high speeds with the joystick steering. We have a manual sunroof in this area. Beautiful peak stairs and a lit handrail as you step down into the atrium. Here's our panel, 110 and 12 volt. We have storage, generator controls, um, high water alarm, and uh, tank monitoring systems. This boat has four zones of air conditioning, so it's uh, very well air conditioned. Here we have our main berth, which would be the V berth. Uh, I'm six foot four, I've laid on this bed and my feet do not go off the end. I have plenty of room. It's a huge bed, and it's very wide as well. As with any Tierra, you have a massive storage area. 
underneath the V-berth. Cedarline hanging locker, and you have your smart Blu-ray player there that will get Netflix and YouTube and all those other great things for this television here. Nice portholes, and you have a fusion stereo control there and air conditioning controls. You also have storage on either side of the bed and nice rails where you can put your phone in and you can plug your chargers in. You have these on either side. Uh, one more thing to mention, there's a sliding door here. We've got it locked in place, but that slides out and gives you privacy there. Here's our head. It's a very large head. Um, you know, once again, I'm a tall person. I don't have perfect headroom, but it doesn't bother me. You know, I don't I only have to lower my head about an inch or so. Uh, very contemporary. Vacuum flush head. Separate stall shower. Okay, this is our midship berth, and you have a large seating area here that could also be used as another bed. There's storage underneath it. It has its own air conditioning unit in this area. Storage here and here. Um, another storage locker in this area. And then, you know, a full, full-size double berth. Um, it's, it's just a great size. And they have an opening window, so that's nice. And there's a built-in vacuum cleaner in this area. Okay, that kind of wraps it up for my quick walkthrough of the Tierra 39 Coupe. My name is Ben Masonheimer with Silver Seas Yachts. If you're interested in this boat or any other Tierra product or any products that we sell, new or used, please call me at 619-800-3491 or you can email me at bigboatben at gmail.com. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I try to put out new stuff as I can. Thanks, and we'll see you on the water.